Welcome back to the channel folks. Uh, in this video it's gonna be a different sort of video than my usual stuff. Uh, in this video I'm gonna be sharing my experience, uh, the type of question, the, the preparation I did and the source resources I use to pass my MS100 uh, in the first try. Took me a month to start preparing and uh, you know end up giving my exam and passing it. So just wanted to share that with you guys. I don't see a lot of resources uh, on YouTube regarding this. So I thought documenting um, all things I did uh, would be helpful for any, anyone who's uh, planning on pursuing this, uh, this exam or learning it. So the exam is uh, MS100. It's uh, if you want to start with Microsoft 365 apps and administration. This is the first certificate I would suggest anyone should do if they are in IT or doing a help desk job. Uh, it's basically Microsoft 365 Identity and Services. Um, based in Canada, so it cost me like 255 Canadian dollars when you convert the USD into Canadian. And uh, yeah, so I have uh, all the, so there was like 51 questions in total, as you can see, I have laid it down and I have written all the questions that I could remember and I uh, would definitely be sharing that with you but uh, bear with me I'm gonna move it to the side I first wanted to talk about the resources that I use to prepare for it uh, which I think sh you know you is, is a better approach in, in my uh, opinion so Definitely, Microsoft provides you with uh, the free training, free uh, online training that you can just re read through, uh, which I didn't do honestly because there is a lot of it, and I I knew my uh, I know myself I will just get bored, and never will be able to complete it, but this is a good thing. So they give you an outline, uh, so you basically have all these. Uh, things uh, divided into sections you have all the outline and I'm sure you know about it if you have ever you know given any Microsoft exam they always provide you uh, but this is something I used at the end uh, after my preparation I started with the uh, this cloud Academy so it's like a online provider for courses uh, it's pretty good. It's uh, it's paid. I pay like 45 bucks a month and uh, Yeah, pretty good. So It's not just MS hundred uh, Just taking a tangent here if you are interested in pursuing any sort of cloud uh, Platform or services then they have it there you just pay the subscription and you can learn anything as much as you want uh, this is the MS100 that I did and I'm going to show you here uh, the things that they offer. This package. Uh, just going to minimize it here and mute it. And as you can see, the MS100, it is starts with the introduction and it has a few of the labs, few of the practices and the, at the end they even have a practice exam, a mock exam you can call it. Uh, and yeah, it's pretty good. So that's what I did, watched all the videos, you know, took notes, uh, did a few videos a day, a few videos the other day, not not going too hard on them. And after I completed this, I went through this, which is again, the Microsoft outline. Just wanted to just check everything, hey, do I know this, do I know this, do I know this topic? If not, I would go back again and go through that that uh, video again so doing this back and forth multiple times multiple days uh, when I finally thought okay I know this stuff and also I would say to set up a trial account with Microsoft and do like migration and doing some basic you know managing users licensing and stuff uh, it helps you understand the con concept and learn it by doing it in a lab environment or a trial account and uh, pretty helpful I would say to do that too and they're gonna teach you that in video too like they will go through all the steps all the procedure on setting up a few things so those were the two things now on the exam day uh, I was like in the afternoon so uh, morning time I went through this skill me up so basically on YouTube search for MS 100 and I sh this should be the first one that comes up 
Again, I'm gonna Big. just go ahead and mute this. But man, this was a great catch up. Like, I would pro I would say if you have time on your exam day, please go through this video. Uh, what I was doing is I was watching the video. I had the notepad on the side, and I would just keep all the typing, all the notes, and everything, just to uh, you know re uh, go through each to uh, topic and everything. And the uh, person who I think his name is Liam, pretty good at this, and uh, he has a lot of knowledge. He will even throw some questions in the middle, and uh, he will shine lights on the main topics that you need. Uh, in order to pass the exam or you should at least have a uh, you know in-depth uh, knowledge on so please definitely check them out uh, before going uh, appearing sitting for your exam on the day just one hour 39 minutes so now after this uh, I went gave my exam and uh, it was pretty good and uh, yeah when I left they don't really uh, usually just to give you the results they like at the spot uh, you have to come back home, log into your Microsoft account, and then you will see uh, your if you passed or not. So that's how I found out. And uh, now that that being out of my way, out of the way, you know, I've discussed everything. Let me bring this over here. So this these are the I showed you Cloud Academy. I use that. I'm gonna put the link in description uh, with my referral code. If you don't want to use the referral code, uh, just sign 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 up with them. Pretty good resource to learn, and the official skill to measure. And this is the question. So there were uh, there were in total fifty one questions in, in the exam, and they are divided into three separate parts, uh, which I didn't know. So definitely one point. So first you will you will be given three thirty six questions, uh, and those will be your t your typical. Uh, multiple choice you know one choice or two choice out of four uh, questions for uh, choices and uh, these are the questions that I could recall uh, it's been uh, like a week since I passed my exam so not really don't really remember all the questions but whatever I could remember I have it on this file so 36 uh, again these were multiple choice uh, definitely the most asked were the 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 role based questions so the role based would be hey it follow the principle of least privilege and these are the things that a user needs to do follow the rule of least privilege and uh, answer or pick which uh, admin role will you should you assign the user so that they can complete these specific tasks so please definitely learn this document it's like not just go through it learn it because they will ask you questions so if I open this document here uh, which is about admin roles in Microsoft 365 admin center you need to so do you see these billing admin exchange admin global admin global reader man there were at least nine questions on them they would ask they would give the scenario and they would say hey this user needs to do these 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 follow the principle of least privilege and uh, pick the one which should uh, you know s suffice all the task that user needs to complete so I got I think I got this quite asked this question and uh, the user admin it too so definitely make sure you learn these okay not just read them they will there will be questions based on them then coming on to the conditional access yeah definitely please go through the conditional access again the this is a document that you should be familiar with I will put all this in description hopefully it uh, YouTube allows me to so you can just you know go through them conditional access make sure you know how to set them up make sure you know what uh, you know how to enforce MFA and uh, other things please go through that and uh, there were quite a few questions on conditional access now this is a topic which I didn't even know un until I watched uh, Cloud Academy video uh, they have one of uh, the tutorials on them which one is that? Hmm. Azure Identities Planning Integration access not able to find it this is not it 
type P conditional access MFA message admin identity Asia really connect it's definitely in there I'm not sure it's just gonna increase the length of this video but uh, please uh, you know it's a small topic MS 100 only hits uh, you know the surface level of Azure app proxy and uh, deploying uh, or integrate integrating your on-premises apps with the Azure AD uh, so please go to them there were like at least three questions on them and now there is external and guest user so they would give you these scenarios hey this is an external user they are supposed to only share or are able to access files where would you in the team's settings uh, you know manage that access and same thing in Azure so go through your external and guest user access and permission uh, two questions on PIM uh, very basic level like what kind of license do you need to have a uh, PIM uh, you know privilege identity uh, management or uh, if a user needs uh, this permission for a certain amount of period of time what is the best approach to do so you know PIM would be the best approach to do and uh, few questions on uh, AD connect and AD connect cloud which I didn't really know the difference while I was uh, you know sitting in the exam I learned it afterwards so please go through them and uh, how to so there's there was one uh, on this SharePoint migration tool and if you have done or used SharePoint migration tool you will know Azure AG, Azure copy or AZ copy is a tool inside the SharePoint migration tool again all of this are on this cloud Academy so I'm not <laughs> sponsored or anything but they, they were pretty good so please check them out uh, if you have the the budget to do that and uh, moving on so now after this 36 questions were completed you submit them and you cannot go back uh, comes the eight scenario based questions so they will repeatedly give you the same scenario and just make a few changes and they will ask does this suffice you have to choose yes or no so for example what I can remember is uh, there was a question on password write back and SSPR so users uh, Azure AD is configured you know and uh, the SSPR is configured too but the users when they change their password their password on uh, on prems don't change what, what's the reason the reason is you need to have password write back enabled whenever you are configuring uh, and the ad connect tool on the on-premise so same thing but they will keep tweaking few things and they will say does this is this a right solution choose yes or no so definitely you know learn what sspr is single uh, self-service password reset how it works with a uh, azure ad connect how it integrates with password right back please go through them and then after you submit those questions you will be given the lab questions there will be a simulation of your office admin portal and you will be given also what i could remember is all these questions so there was one of them was to create a team SharePoint site. Uh, another one was to create a resource under resource and equipment. Uh, third one was to create a rule, uh, and you create a rule from Exchange Online. And uh, yeah, I don't know the specific, don't remember the specifications of that rule, but that definitely was a question. Another question is to create a security group to manage permission of. Uh, of something I'm I don't I'm not sure another question was to create a Microsoft 365 group and uh, another one was to change the default password policy so default uh, you can do it through you know admin center or you can do it from Azure AD uh, if the default password policy is disabled and to enforce MFA just for just one user so you can do it from uh, admin portal so these were the lab questions you have to complete them and uh, yeah again uh, last day I watched kill me up from YouTube this this uh, this uh, video and pretty helpful and yeah the exam was pretty good they tested a lot of things now one thing I should mention or clarify where is my not these questions could be interchanged there could be more added you know they might it's an exam it's not gonna be the same but uh, I 
I was the, I got these questions so you might also so you know see if it it's helpful for you but uh, yeah I'm gonna uh, put everything in the description uh, if that's easier if you have any questions please let me know if you want me to go in details on how to actually do these then I can definitely make a video on them but yeah thank you for watching